All right, good Labor Day to everyone. I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl, and yes, I'm laboring away today, but no better way to labor than showing you a vintage convertible Kenmore. This is a 1947. These don't come up very often. As a matter of fact, I don't know that I've had a 1947. I would have to go back into my videos and look, but I really, if I've had one, I haven't had but maybe one or two. Um, and being a convertible, of course, that means that this machine can be used either, a, either as a flatbed as you see it or a free arm, which means that this extension only moves easy and you have um, access to all the way around the arm. This is your free arm. Of course, it uses class 15 bobbins. I didn't dust that out. Um, 15 by 1 needles. It's a low shank machine. And this extension slides back on just as easy as it came off. Now, if you're using it as a flatbed machine and you want to access the bobbin area, you don't have to take off the whole extension. You push this little button on the side and the top panel comes off and there's your bobbin access. And this also speed dog drop right here. This little switch. So that makes it pretty nice. And it comes with, this is the original box of accessories. You notice it's narrow. And I believe it perfectly stores in here. The ta-da! Perfect size to store inside. There it is. And with it you get bobbins, a zipper foot, screwdrivers, this is the buttonhole guide because it has a built-in buttonholer, automatic buttonholer. Satin stitch foot, it does have the straight stitch plate and it's still packaged, it's never been used. Um, straight stitch plate, straight stitch foot, it has double needles and it has a pack of new needles. And yes, it's double needle capable. This model 1947 has 12 built-in stitches and that does not include the buttonhole stitches. So it's two. Um, when you access them, I'll move the camera up here so you can see. Your stitches are accessed here. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then your buttonholer is here. Bottom winder here. Um, of course, your spool pins, double needle capable. This is your stitch width. This is your stitch length. This center changes you from regular to stretch stitch here. Of course, just like all of our machines, this machine is serviced and ready to go right out of the box. I will point out here and in the photos as well that the casing here on the side, see where I'm pointing, um, this right here is plastic and this little vented area right here has been broken and is missing a piece. This in no way affects the machine's operation nor is it noticeable unless you're directly looking at the side of the machine. It will be pictured so you can see what I'm talking about. The cord still plugs in fine. It does not affect the cord, the uh, plug area at all. It's just a piece of the plastic venting has broken off. And as always, this machine has lots of room under the presser foot. It does not necessarily mean that you can sew that much. Of course, my phone rings. Um, I use quarters to show. Six quarters, plenty of room. Get your project underneath without snagging it. Now, I do have the original manual for this machine. I will include it. I'm very disorganized today and I've set it down somewhere in this house and I can't find it right now. But you do get the manual even though it's not going to be shown in the photos or here because when I bought the machine from the lady the manual and this box were, were with it so I know it is here in this house and I just seen it earlier today and now I can't find it but you will get that okay I'm going to sew with sew a little bit so you can hear it run great stitch And I did not confirm whether this is a 1 amp or a 1.2 amp. The 
before I started the video, so I would have to look underneath to see. I can't remember. It's on the little plate underneath. No zigzag. Of course, um, convertible machines are awesome. Now I'm going to switch over to stretch. You can see that work. It's a stretch zigzag, which is the rick rack. Here's another stretch stitch. Very cool. I like this one. I think about this stitch on the front of old fashioned tube tops, old fashioned bodices. But it does have 12 built in stitches. It makes a very nice stitch. This is six layers of denim. I folded it and then folded it again. So this is six layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. And as you can see, this is where the lift comes in handy. So I can lift the foot and it goes right underneath. And I don't have to worry about, if I'm using delicate fabric, it getting snagged on the feed dog. There's a triple multi-point zigzag. Six layers of denim using a size 16 needle. No hesitation whatsoever. Not claiming this machine to be industrial because it is not. It makes a nice stitch. It is all metal inside. Very, very nice model 1947 Kenmore.